how many of you have trouble finding just the right space for that stoneware, your cookie sheets, your cooling racks, your rolling pins? Today I'm going to show you how to tackle that problem using what you might already have around the house. The great news is I didn't have to spend a penny. I've organized some of my kitchen cabinets lots of times since we've moved here two and a half years ago, but sometimes you just have to keep tweaking it until you find just the right space for just the right items. Hey, I'm Nancy of Designer Savvy. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome and thanks for checking us out. The space I'm working with is tiny, only eight and a fourth inches wide by 21 and a half inches tall. The small square was originally in the cabinet, but I wanted a longer shelf to make better use of prime real estate. I'm certainly one who hangs on to shelving hardware. And glad that I do, as I often need it later. There are many different clips that you can find for adjustable shelving. Some are plastic, some are metal, some have wider pegs than others, so you just have to work with different types and see what works best in your space, in your cabinetry, or for your shelving. Some of these pegs actually worked in my space, but I decided to go with the corner braces because I was going to use a larger piece of wood and wanted it to support heavier stoneware. Tools needed for this project include a wire rack for your cookie sheets, cookie cooling racks, and your stoneware, a 2x4. I use that to support the braces as I screwed them into the cabinetry, sandpaper, a drill and drill bits, drill screwdriver bits, a tape measure, and then you'll need four corner braces that are two inches, as well as the screws to fit those braces. I had all the necessary tools for this project, so no additional tools were needed. I'll fast forward the video as I clean out the cabinet, as I did have a little trouble because some things got stuck. So finally the cabinet's empty and you can see that it's got a good bit of space in there but it wasn't functional. So here are all the items that I removed from the cabinet. Can you believe all of that was in that little tiny space? That space is so small I really have a hard time getting in there to attach the braces to the cabinet walls. You've heard the rule, measure twice, cut once. Well the same holds true for drilling. Next I'm going to clean out the cabinet good. First, I'm removing the shelf liner, shaking it out. Then I'm going to clean the cabinet with Mrs. Meyer's Cleaner. Love it. My favorite fragrance is basil. It's such a clean, fresh fragrance. I love to clean my countertops with it because the, the scent stays throughout the room for several hours. I usually purchase mine from Kroger or Meyer's. Time to put the shelf liner back in, and then I'm going to prepare to kind of eyeball it and see exactly where I want the braces to go inside the cabinet. I'm going to use the pre-existing holes that you see there that I'm pointing to at the end of a wooden spoon. That's going to be my guideline of where I put the first braces. The reason for the 2x4 is to make sure that the shelf is taller than my tallest item, which is the round pizza pan, and to support that brace while I pre-drill that hole for the screw. This worked really well, especially since that space was so tight and so awkward and I could hardly get in there. I had to lean sideways. So I decided to do the back two braces and work my way forward, and I thought that would make things easier. So now Next, I follow the same process for the front two braces by supporting them with a 2x4. The last screw is now in place and I'm ready to install the shelf. I'm glad I chose the braces instead of using the push pins as it will make the shelf much stronger for supporting heavier items such as my stoneware. Next, I'm going to prepare the board that will be my new shelf. And although it's in fairly good shape, there are a few splinters on the ends and I just wanted to smooth out the sides. I chose to not paint or stain the board because actually it has a whitewash finish on one side of it and my stoneware and my rolling pins are going to be sitting on top of it so for that reason I decided to leave it as is. Another reason for using the braces is that my piece of board was not as wide as it really needed to be and I knew that the braces would be strong enough to support the board. As you can see there's probably a half inch on either side um, of give there but I knew that the braces would sufficiently support the shelf. 
So here I am placing the white organizer back in the cabinet, situating the bakeware the way I want them to be, and that will work the best for me. The wire organizer keeps my items upright and helps keep my stoneware from breaking. Well, guys, what do you think? I absolutely love it. I was so surprised when I was finished because I thought, wow, this looks twice as big. And I love the fact that I have those slots for that stoneware because stoneware is expensive and I'm always afraid it's going to break or chip. And as you can see, I've actually got the bubble wrap between the two loaf pans on the top shelf. I get the most excited when I can work on a project and do a DIY that costs me no money. It only took a couple hours of my time. I try not to even get in this cabinet any more than I had to because it was such a hassle to get anything out of it. I had no other space in the kitchen and knew that I had to make this work. Here's one final look at the before and the after. If you found value in today's video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.